Okay, um, right now I'm just gonna show you what I want to do with felt and actually glue them, but I want to keep the pattern, um, obviously. Um, this will be for my, my next project where I'm going to upholster a stool with a cushion on it and having a bonnet girl on this on the seat basically but right now I'd like to talk to you about my brother Kevin Forrest Pearson jr um two years ago he started seeing Shamula Antos and I guess like one night when my ma was upstairs and my dad was at work when he first started seeing her, um, he came home drunk and he was saying that how he hates Shamila Antos and he was saying she's crazy. He said to me, well, slurring, I don't know how to tell her. I don't want nothing to do with her, is what he said. And he, and he was saying her whole family is crazy. I don't know if it's true or not. And, um, he's been saying this for the last two years. And he said something before he stopped talking to me is that he, there's parties that she forces him to go to that, um, he does not want to go to. And he says that she threatens him, saying if you don't eat what I want you to eat, you don't, or if you don't want, don't dress the way I want you to. And she does something. I'm not sure, but he says that she, that she Antos beats on him. And he's... Actually, sometimes would come home with claw marks on his stomach, beat red, and he would, any time that Shamila would message him, he'd act scared like a dog. And he said something on the phone to one of his drinking buddies that, um, he said that he wants to sleep in his own bed. He did not want to move out of our parents' house. He told his drinking buddies on the phone. He told them um, how cute um, Jaime, his former best friend's girlfriend, is. That's an Asian. But he said, Oh, um, I'm not really interested in her, though. And then he turned around and talked about some waitress that always serves my brother and Shamila when they go out to eat together at Denny's. And he said, well, he really likes this waitress and he wouldn't mind going out with her instead of Shamila. But he says, oh... I, I don't know if I could break up with Shamula. He tells his drinking buddy on the phone. He says something if I over since I overheard it and he was slurring and he said that this waitress is thinner than Shamula and possibly older. So his drinking buddy asks him is she, do you know if she's married or has kids? My brother says, no. And then you can hear his um, drinking buddy on the phone sitting there laughing at my brother. And my brother says, oh, when he says I'll dump Shamula. And, oh, I'll get a new girlfriend real fast. 
and, and his drinking buddy just sits there laughing at him. And, um, here's one thing I don't talk about much. Um, one day I've seen my brother's girlfriend, Shamila Antos, in the in a red pickup truck, and here she is cuddling some other guy that also had a beard like my brother, and she looked more in love with this other guy. But when she noticed who I was, she ducked her head and was trying to hide. And the way my brother's stories are is that Shamla told him that he had to move out of my mom and dad's house or or else basically and he said something like she won't allow him to sleep at our parents house he said something like she antos's um sister wanted him not to be uh, or even around her family and called my brother a drug addict and he said he wasn't a drug addict and honestly you know even my brother said that Shamil Antos's father um wouldn't let him go take a bath or shower and Called him out saying that he was making their shower dirty or bathtub. And he said something like he said that something like the way it sounded like that their family makes him sleep on a couch. And then... He said that Shamula's whole family is crazy. And he said, well, his sister, her sister had no, um, no kids. But then here when he was with Shamula, he was saying, oh, yeah, her sister has kids. And I'm like, wait a minute. You're saying last night, no, she didn't. And now you're saying, yes, she does. And then when Samuel wasn't around, he'd say, um, that Samuel said that she does not have a brother. And then when Samuel was sitting there next to him, he would all of a sudden be saying that, um, she has a brother. And I'm like, that's funny. You said that she said she does not have a brother now. So many months later, you're saying she has it. She's telling you she has a brother. After she said no, she doesn't. And he's always at their house. And, um. And I guess, like, one of my brother's stories was when Shane wasn't around, she's. He said, oh, this one guy that comes to their house, her so called brother. Stole Shamula's clothing and some other things from her family. And went outside wherever to sleep. And then all of a sudden when Shamula was there, he changed the story saying that it was her father that stole Shamula's clothes and some things and slept somewhere else. Um... Even I've noticed, like, yeah, when she's not, when she and Anto sitting around, he tells his drinking buddies and I that, um, he hates Shamula and this and that. He does not love her. He does not want anything to do with her. He wants to dump her and this and that. But then when she's sitting there with him, he says how much he... He loves her, oh, how much he wants to live with her, and this and that. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why are you saying two different stories? Um, it's, to me, it sounds like my brother's doing this because he is under peer pressure. 
because yeah, our family was pressuring him to get a girlfriend because he was going and getting drunk and chewing t tobacco because his co-workers pressured him into drinking and they don't realize how it turned his life upside down and it's turning his life more upside down since Shamula started seeing him. And when my brother said yes to being a groomsman in my wedding, then when Samuel found out that he'd be walking with my now niece, um, Jessica K. Eliason, she flipped and told him, I guess the way he said on the phone to someone, that... She ain't gonna let him be a groomsman in the wedding, even though he wanted, wants to be. Because she thought that my brother would cheat on her. With um my niece, who has a little toddler kid. And I'm like, no, my brother ain't gonna want to date a woman that already has a child, literally. So she flipped out and made him change his mind. So he uh, obviously wasn't a groomsman in my wedding all of a sudden.